Hi there, it's Lena from Lena's Crafty Corner. I'm back with um, Roxy's Weekly Challenge. We're on week 15, which is book, book page file folder journal spots. And um, I've been trying to do it for the last half hour, but uh, my husband's outside. I've set him up outside and he's been doing some little bits and he's been no quite noisy. I thought he'd finished. And then Oscar started. So anyway, without further ado, I've got this set up at 38 minutes because I always have a bit of a talk and we're nearly on a minute now. So I'll, I'll check it when it finishes at 40. I'll check how long it is and then come back for the extra bit so leave that there a minute but i was just going to show you all i've done to prepare for this is pulled out some pages and i've cut off uh the rough edge i've not done it with i've just done it with the scissors so they might not be i might have to trim them up a little bit i've got quite a few i mean no way i'm going to do that many I've not made these before, so um, I'm going to have a go, see how they go. They look fairly simple and they look very, you know, you can have a lot of uses for them. So I'm quite, I quite like the look of them. So I'm going to get on and have a go with them. When we get to the tab, I'll show you how I've worked out to do the tab because I'd forgotten um, there was a way to do it if you haven't got you know a punch thing so i've got two separate ways to do it um and i've just sort of adapted what i've got so i'll show you that as we get a bit further on anyway without going on anymore what are we on now we're just coming up i'm just checking and we're just coming up to 155 so i'm going to that's it two minutes gone so if i do that there so that's my 38 minutes and we're off. Oh, something has just fallen off my shelf. So let's just have a look. Oh yeah, these are quite uneven. And I'm just checking, I am gonna be in screen because would you believe I've moved my camera again? Because it's so near me, when I'm um, when I've not got the camera on it, I move the stand out my way, and then I have to set it up each time because it's a bit in my way. Um, yeah, so that's the first bit. So this is going to be the front. I've left a bit of a gap here where we're going to put the um, tab on. So I'm even using a um, glue book which I don't usually I usually use my board but I thought because my camera's slow I maybe won't be able to get it in so I'm going to do a bit of uh, oh, what do you call it uh, room for for journaling in the inside so but I'm going to do fairly big pieces so you don't have to sit you know because you, when you're watching everybody do it it's same old same old so I'm not going to do it real tiny in, in the inside I'll just do the decorative bit and I am going to try what Rachel suggested by just putting this up to the edge you know the um the fold so you don't actually go out because I've always gone over the fold and then wondered why it's so thick <laughs> um, and then I just thought that was a really good idea that she had right when I do that I like this coffee down paper I'm just looking I like this side better because it's got some so I'll just bring my book in and just glue this now my glue's a right mess because I left my lid off last night so I've just had to glue something, just to glue something together <laughs> to, um, you know, get the top layer that was so dry off it. So then I could, because I thought oh, it was going to be wobbling the camera if I'm trying to force that. Anyway, it's still a bit thick. It's still, oh, so I think I need a new page actually. Turn that over. Right then. So let's just get this. I was just going to say, normally what I do is I glue both sides of the paper so this slides better, but it's working all right because I forgot to do it. So, it works so much easier when you just glue a bit under here as well. It just 
it just helps the paper slide. I know it means you're using a lot of glue, but it just means you don't get such a... Well, I've made a right hash of that. That'll do, that's fine. And then I can just cut these pieces off. I'm just going to fold that bit again. And then I just need a bit of something down there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of that down there because I like it. And then I'll just chop it off. I'm going to try and not faff about too much with inking at this time. I'll ink at the end. I'm going to put that on there. I've just got my little bin box next to me with all my bits in. Just fine when you're trying to slide it, slides better if both sides are glued. You can still um, journal on that piece, that's quite interesting. Actually, I could have just cut off oh, a bit of string from somewhere. Got that much stuff floating about, as you hear everybody say, and I think we're all the same with crafters. We're, Stuff, especially if you've not got a lot of space, you tend to leave a lot of stuff on your desk. And then when you're doing videos, it's good on your desk. Oh, I've put into that paper there. Oh, well, I'll have to straighten that. That's because I, I, I've actually got the iPad in in front of my nose. I'm actually looking at the back side of the iPad, you know, the silver side of the iPad. Excuse me. <coughs> right. Um, I'm just looking at what I've got on my desk. That's a bit thicker, that one, but I think it'll be all right. Um, let's have a look. Let's just turn that on there. Oh. Well, if I can, it's a bit tough. And then just do the same there. Get that bit off. Okay, so I'm having a relaxing crafting day today because we've went out yesterday to we're having to change a car because as my husband needs uh as he needs more help and more things we're looking for a new car to help us with that situation it's to, not to help well it is to help him but it's to help me um because um i have electric wheelchair to lift in and out the car and I have problems myself I have fibromyalgia so I can't lift after I do everything with a ramp and it's an electric wheelchair but sometimes trying to get it in is really difficult so we've been looking at other options one of the options is to have a hoist fitted in which is my preferred option but we're going to need a lot bigger car and the guy said to us yesterday, how many of, how many is there? Really? We said, oh, there's only two of us. But when we obviously explained the situation, he realised, because it's a, it's a great big, like a great big fan, because we need the height at the back. So we can't just have something that's got a, you know, curved back on it. So, oh, it's been a bit of a nightmare. And I hate going to buy new cars. Oh, I don't like dealing with salesman i'm sorry i just i just you just seem to be in there forever and oh. so i was pleased when it was over yesterday and we didn't get the results we wanted really so um, we're still looking we're still going with the same car i think but 
we're going to try a different place. We went further afield than where we live because they've got more, they've got them in and they've got more choice. Our, our one nearby is so small um, they don't have everything in. So we thought we'd go further afield, give us more chance and we didn't get the service that we should have done. So we're going to go back and be, um, go back more local. Right, I need a little bit down there because I've messed that up. Well, I haven't messed it up, I just I've missed it off. So I just wanted something I'm going to put. Actually, oh, I'm put a little bit of that just on the bottom of there. Just to I can actually do it from this side. I've just torn, I can have a straight edge at the end there. Sorry, I'm messing about and I'm not getting on very quick, am I? So Oscar's had to have, he doesn't get told off very often, but he was, he, he's got a very shrill bark when he barks and he was barking and going mad. So he's just had to have a bit of a telling off and um, he only gets a stern, you know, a stern voice and he looks away from me, won't look at me when I'm, if I look straight at him gets all defensive and covers his eyes up because he doesn't want to look at me <laughs> he's quite and you know, i try not to laugh because he senses it and thinks i'm playing with him and um i go close to him and just sort of talk more stern than i would normally and uh, he turns his head so he doesn't have to look at me but anyway he did as he was told that's all i wanted him to do was come and lay down i wasn't um he just said he was barking so much and I, as I say I just said to my husband I can't hear because you, you, you're being noisy because <laughs> uh, a lot of what my husband does he needs my help so I have to be very organised and very prepared and I thought he'd done the noisy bit because you know he can't do that much on his own and uh, then you know to, to do a video where i have to sort of be 45 minutes away it's uh it's a, you know i want to do the challenge and i'm really enjoying it i'm loving doing it but i don't always get 45 minutes in one go that is an absolute miracle if I, <laughs> it's either somebody's knocking at the door or oscar does something or um, my husband needs something right that's just the inside I've just made it a bit more interesting with little bits I've left the middle down there so this will fold and then I've got front and back to do right and I'm only on the first one <laughs> so I need to get a move on don't I I've just I'm just looking I'm sorry if I, you can see me stretching across as I say again I've moved camera so i'm not quite sure where i should be putting everything in relationship to the camera so i'm just looking i'm going to put some of this on here because i really like it i'm also going to use a piece of this that's um not got a lot of writing on it sort of and i don't know whether it's supposed to be like these this but these are Rachel's from Rachel's kit actually her um, antique letters I'm sure they are I've got some of my own but mine aren't pink like this so I'm sure these are Rachel's I love the colour in the background of them they'll go lovely in the wedding journal I'm doing so let's have a look so I'm going to put a bit of this down here. I'm just going to do this. Not sure where. That's it. And then I want a bit of this. to work quite quick when I'm doing these so I don't give myself lots of time to faff about and change my mind because otherwise I do um, 
so I'm just going to get these, but I'm not getting on very well. And I'm just going to do that on this side. So I've got similar going on. I've got some little bits then. Right, I've got that and that, and then I want something else. Oh, I've got some of this beautiful. So I'm going to use a bit of this. So I'm going to put this down on this edge, like that. Right, let's get this bit down first. And hopefully I've given myself enough to do it in two pieces. If not, I shall have to do three. So I've just I've had a visit today from my son and his uh, partner. Um, and I've got some more wonderful news that I can share with you now because it's so I did share the fact that my daughter's having a baby um oh by the way we sat in the garden <laughs> they came and they came around the side and sat in the garden um and I've been sworn to secrecy I've been bursting at the seams um my daughter's having a baby in August as I've told you all but what I didn't share with you because I was told I couldn't was so is my son's partner they're having babies within two weeks of each other <laughs> so that is amazing I mean they didn't plan it that way it's just the way it worked and they're um they're both due in the middle of August one is due on, my daughter's due on the 19th and my son's partner is due on the 29th. So there's literally 10 days between them. My son's having a boy and my daughter's having a girl. So we get one of each. So I am, I am just thrilled. I'm just over the moon. I just cannot explain how how excited i am so we've got my son's already got a darling little boy obviously i'm gonna say that i'm i'm grandma so i'm gonna say that but he is he's, he is he's just a delight he's just lovely and i haven't seen much of him this year so um only sort of over facetime and then he never wants to be on the camera so it's very fun. And I say to my son, don't make him, don't try to make him, it's not fair. Let him go play. He doesn't understand. And, um, you know, there's no point in having him upset if he doesn't want to. I say, Grandma, I'm just watching my telly. And so they haven't told him yet. They're waiting for the right moment to tell him, but they haven't told him yet. So, um, I'm just, just so excited. We're going to have a very busy August. So we're, a bit, we're invited to my friend's wedding on the 31st of July. So <laughs> I'm going to be sat with them. I, I made them laugh because I said we're going, there's going to be three fat ladies all sat together, but two of them are pregnant. <laughs> I've got no excuse. I just eat too much. So um, there's going to be three of us. Um, hopefully the three husbands and so that'll be nice to have both my daughters and my daughter and daughter-in-law and my son and son-in-law and my husband and I all on one table so that'll be quite nice because I wasn't sure how it was going to work in July with you know social distancing and what have you and uh, my friend said, well, it won't really be a problem on your table. Um, it's a very big venue. It, it holds up to 250 people. So we're certainly going to have some social distancing. 
um, because she was all preparing for having, um, you know, a live feed and not having many there and just having a live feed. But because um, she'd said to us, you definitely want to come, do you? Because obviously she knows that we have mobility issues. And I said, yeah, if you can manage it. She said, oh, yeah, if I know you're coming, it'll all be organised. Right, so I really like that. Um, so I've got that inside. I've got that like that. It's 19 minutes and I'm faffing about. So what I'll show you at the end, I'm not going to show you now, so it'll take too much time. What I've decided, what I've done is this is how I'm doing my tabs. And I'll show you how I've made them. So this is what they look like at the moment. I'm not very good at doing tabs. And I got the idea, and I knew about this, I've seen this on somebody else's, but I'd forgotten all about it because I'm not very good, and that's what it looks like on there. I'm not very good at doing tabs because I haven't got any other way of doing it. I mean, I've got two different ways, as I say. But um, I watched, um, oh gosh, Keepsakes by Patty Cakes, and I always watch her videos, and she did it similar but she did, she cut it straight out of here but when i've tried it before i've done it this way because i always find these you know not sure how to do them and so i i do mine like that it might be a strange way to do it but <laughs> it's all right if as long as your card's thick enough you know, you don't, I haven't folded that one over. I've done some where I've folded it over first. So, yes, I've got that going down there. And I just want some kind of an image on here. I'm not sure what I'm doing on the back. So, I've got some nice images. Oh, I like that. Mm. Do you know, I really like that just on the back. I'm going to put that on there. So I'll have to list where I got all these bits from because I can't remember. I'm not going to do anything in there. I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to do something on here. Let's see what else I've got. Oh, that's lovely. Like the the bell and the altar, the bell, the altar and the bride. She could be a bride. Not like her. I've got anything a little bit bigger though. I could do something. Oh, these are Tim Holtz flowers. I don't very often use Tim. Oh, look at that. Oh, I absolutely love that on there. Oh, well, that's it. I'm probably not going any further than that. I'm just going to give this a quick I do like that. There's just a little bit of ink on here, not a lot. So I'm just. Oh, I'm going to have to put a bit more. I'm not going to get more than two done, I don't think, at this rate. Anyway, I need these for the journal I'm doing, so I want to, you know, pick what I want and make sure they're as I want them. So there we go. And I'm just going to, I think I probably ought to have that down with, and I've lost my glue. Here it is. I'm going to do this with some art glitter glue because it's a bit thicker card this so oh gosh that would be good i've taken the full top off oh for goodness sake yeah so what i was saying is my daughter's already got an outfit for the wedding obviously it's maternity and she said i'm hoping it's gonna fit she has bought it sort of extra big and my daughter-in-law said um I've had to go out and buy new clothes. She hasn't mentioned what she's doing yet. Um, what she, you know, whether she's, they're not sure whether they're coming just to the day do or not, to the night do, because of my son doesn't know whether he works on the steelworks and he, they have to work stop fortnight and he's in the shut, the shut it down for two weeks and he's in the maintenance team, so they can't have stuff a fortnight off. But obviously he does get some, a little bit of time off, but he doesn't know what his schedule is. Um, 
and uh, until they put out you know what he'll be working he doesn't know whether he can go or not so we're hoping he can she said we might only be four of us and then we would probably have to have somebody else at our table i don't know how that would work i'm hoping by july we're a little bit you know we're not as restricted you know for my friend's sake really for the wedding you know because you put a lot in because i'm doing i said that's my friend's wedding and then i'm doing this for some but for another wedding that should have been last year and it got cancelled and they moved it to this may and they've moved it again so they've moved the wedding twice it's now sept well it was september last year they moved it to this may and now they've moved it to september this year so you know it's hard isn't it and can't do anything about it it is what it is but it's still sad for people when they've got you know when it's such a big venue and such a big thing to organize anyway right that's one completely finished and it's fine but it's took me a long time so i'm gonna have to get a move on now i haven't got time to mess about so let's pull in some papers and let's get cracking I want a bit of this. I'm going to get another one. You now I was a bit optimistic bringing about 10 shapes, wasn't I? But <laughs> oh no, I don't want that to there. I want that to there. That's okay. And I am just going to get on with this quite quickly. Hopefully. Actually, I think I want that on the back, not on the front. So, yeah. So, that's that on there. I've lost my tear ruler. Let's have a look. So, let's have a look. Oh, this is some real old paper. Look at this from out from the book. Let's put that in the middle. Just as I'm grabbing stuff, I'm moving about where I want it to be. It's... Um, quite damaged in some places because it's well I think it was from I did actually look the other day as I took it out the book and I think it was from 19 doesn't say does it 1935 I think it said on it the, I go with the bottom copyright whatever the you know the latest one well that's how it looked you know they were showing you all the different copyrights the first one was 18 something but this one was 1932 um so it was a poetry book i think it was a poetry book anyway it's going on there because i like i like that paper so i might stick with this side for a minute till i decide what else i want i'm just rummaging I'm going to tear this down here, get some of these weird edges off and do that right into that middle, right, like that. This again is some shorthand paper. I think you'd still be able to journal over this, if not you'd journal just on that side. Am I in, let me just, oh gosh, everything is stuck to me, everything is all over the place and <laughs> stuck to my hands so that's that i like to um i've just gone over there look because i didn't reinforce my let's just do that so i can see where i'm going that's it that's better Come on, come on, come on. Sliding about. Let's just get some of this off because it's sticking everywhere and it's stopping me moving. So let's just take that off there and take that off. There we go. Grab all those bits out of my way. Ugh. Stuck to my fingers. Come on. 
Right. So then, let's have a look. I still need... This is just some of my papers that I've been playing with. A bit of pink. A little bit of pink just down this edge. Uh, let's have a look. I'll cut this bit off because it's the edge of the copier. And just put a little bit of that in there. I'm going to have to give these scissors a wash, I think, because they're very sticky. Yes, this was a piece I've done and then I've just copied it and it was just stenciling and um, I've been playing with gilding wax. So I'll put that on there. I'm finding not doing this edge because I've not done it this way before. I'm just going to refold this because what I've done here, I've um, I have sort of gone over it, even though I've moved the the line, and then I've made a bit of a mess. So I've um, I've just moved that crease a bit. So I've not done it this way before. Well, at this rate, I'm not going to get any done. <laughs> This is some collaging with some napkin. So I'm going to put a full piece of this down on this front. Um, I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to cut it, cut it off. So I'm just going to get rid of this edge. So are you more organised when you do it? Do you just do one area or do you move about? Do you do from one side to the other like I'm doing? I suppose when you're not on camera and you can just sort of take your time you can just do it a bit more organized but when you're trying to do it i'm just trying to see which is best for that side i'm gonna go with this i'm just gonna tear this off here just to give me a bit of an edge to work with And then I can put that down there and cut the other off. Yep, that's pretty. Go with that. It's quite thick this because it's it's on book page and it's been decoupaged on, so it'll make this quite thick. So I'm not doing any of the ones that you can sort of make as a pocket down the middle. I'm just doing them as Rachel did. She did do some variations on her next video, but I'm just doing them like that. Oh, that looks pretty. So we'll just cut this down. And then we're going to have to get moving. Just need to re-glue that edge. And just before I go back on there, I'm going to put a little bit of this on there just to make that match that bit of pink at the bottom. That's that there. Like that. Yep. Put the not glued. A bit not glued, no, that bit's fine. Right, what we're going to do in here? I've literally got six minutes left, so we're going to have to make a move, aren't we? So we're going to have one full piece in here. That's what we're going to be messing about. So I'm going to have this off. Like that. And glue this. It moves a bit easier, as I say, when I've glued that a bit. Do you know, I'm, I, I say because I had such a busy day yesterday. You know, when you're a full-time carer and you're not well yourself. I know this is a channel about crafting, but it's also crafting really is good for mental health and for well-being. It's it, it's massive, and it really does 
it really does help with me and my moods and everything um but uh it's my way of relaxing and sometimes just having a bit of me time you know it's not very often do i get it You know that that's just life it's not i'm not complaining it's the way it is and i know 100 percent if it was the other way around i would get totally the care i needed so i've got no problem with it but you know i just get very tired and my husband's ever so good he's not demanding at all and he's um the illness is demanding it's a demanding illness because you know there's obviously things he needs and there's no way around it but he personally doesn't demand i just have to work with how he is if he's poorly you know so and there's days i don't feel like well don't even feel like getting out of bed and uh, that's just life isn't it that's just the way things are I've got him and that's a blessing. We've had three very bad, health-wise, very bad years. And uh, you're getting your head around everything. And I used to be in care, but I'll tell you what, we haven't had a, we haven't had a lot of help, you know, because obviously there's been so much of the stuff going on this last year or so. And my daughter kept saying, you know, you need more help, you need more help. I said, it's difficult, isn't it, when people, you know, I don't want people coming in when things are the way they've been this last year. So we've had nobody coming in and it's been really hard. I mean, again, we've all got our own story. We've all been affected by this last year and a half and, you know, we're no different. There's people a lot worse off than us. But I'm just explaining how wonderful it is to get in this craft room and, you know, just chill out and do something that I absolutely love. I mean, I, I, it's just, I don't have a lot of followers, um, but I just love the fact that there is some people watching me and I can share what I do and join in with a community of other people that, you know do do the thing um and um it's just a wonderful feeling it's just you know gives you a bit of purpose in life makes you feel you know makes you feel um i don't know what the word is really just i'm use a bit of this i'm literally just grabbing whatever i can find on the desk i'm determined to finish too <laughs> I can't believe I'm only going to finish two. Well, at the rate I'm going, I'm not even going to finish two, am I? Right, let's have a look. This is this was a piece that um, went in the computer and got all chewed up by my computer. By my printer, I mean, not my computer. By my printer. Oh, no, I'm doing that. I'm not sure I like Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the colours against there. Dear me. Come on, Lena, find something. There we go. If all else fails, get that music paper going on. This is real old. So that can go. Oh, yeah, I like that one. That can go on there. I just want to get as far as the tab, if nothing else. Right, let's do this. I've literally got 50 seconds so I'm gonna go with this I need a tab and I've messed all this up so I can't find my tabs here we go here's one it's double-sided it's cardstock and I'm gonna put that it's not long enough I've got some is that one longer oh that one's almost by the time I um, do my edges I'm going to do that in a minute. I haven't done that on there either. So let's glue this down. 
and then we're ready to go. So I'm back. I'm um, just finishing my second one, and then I don't think I'm don't think I'm going to get much more than two done. But I'm okay with two. If I get, I'm going to start the third one. So I'm going to start now, and it, I've got I've looked at the video, just looked at where it finished. If it, it finished dead on forty minutes, so it's five minutes. So there we go, five minutes. So I've just got this one to finish. So I'm just going to. I couldn't find my corner rounder. I got it out purposely and then still forgot to use it. Oh, I don't think it's going to go through all these papers. If it isn't, they'll have to stay. No, I don't think that's going to go through there. I've got no power to push. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to have to try and round them myself. Yeah, it is quite thick, that. So... Let's just have a look and just give them a bit of a... That's fine. That'll do. Let's just... I just have to um, ink it again, because doing this, I'm going to... I'm only doing a little bit off the corners. That's it. That's the first one. And then this one's going to need a little bit more inking because there's too much white going on on this piece here. So we're going to ink it up and make it look a bit more so it fits in. So I'm going to actually ink it all. I don't, can't be doing with all that white. So let's get that done. And just get a bit of this done on this back. And then down this back here, I am just going to... Put some washi. Uh, this one here, quite like that. So I'm going to go with that on there. But it needs gluing. So we're already only got three minutes left. So that's it. So there we go. So here's me saying this is, oh, this is easy. This is an easy challenge. Oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't find it difficult. I just didn't get many done. There we go. So that's the front. Um... So have a look, I'm still not happy with that. I still need to do something. I like it how it fits on there. I'm not so sure on that back on this one. I like the front there. I like that. I'm just looking in all my bits. I wanted, I don't know whether to put that on that side or to put it on there. I like it better on there, but I've got this as the back railing. But it doesn't really matter. Um, because I'm going to have both sides showing. I don't know whether it's going in as a part of the signature or whether it's going in the back pocket. I haven't decided yet where I'm going to put them. But I quite like that on there. So my alarm will go off again, or my timer will go off again in a minute. Um, oh, yeah. I just thought, I when I was... Going through for my tabs, I found that. I wonder if that would look. Yeah, that looks quite nice on there. Oh, I haven't um, inked it up. That's it. Well, this this is a bit stronger. It just needs a bit of. Um... Oh, oh yeah, you go stick up on me now art glitter glue won't you 
Oh, there we are. There we are. <laughs> Squeeze that and it come out really fast. There we go. Why isn't that dry? Yeah, I like that on there. Doesn't need a lot on there because there's already a lot going on. So I'm not sure there's anything else I can add to that to make it. Now I think anything I put on that is just going to be lost. Oh, there we go. There's my timer. Right. Let's just stop that. Right then, so I'll just show you how far I've got. And then just finish this one. So I've done, t I've literally done two. So I'm just going to finish this one. I am going to finish it. I'm just going to ink this up a little bit just so it's not quite so white. It's just a bit of lace. Oh, and it's sticking to my fingers. And I think I'm literally just going to put that on there like that. I like that. And then I'm just going to show you the other tabs that I didn't get. I didn't get chance to. Oh gosh, this is all stuck up as well. Oh gosh. Oh, this one's nearly finished. That's why it's one of these that when you squeeze it and get all the air in it, then it all comes out when you don't want it to. So then you're left with this sticky mess on the top of it. Right, get this on before it explodes all out. And just put that on there. I'm still thinking I need a little bit more. Because it's on decoupage. Oh, there's my full one here, look. Rather than, I have a full one that I have ready for doing on when I'm doing a video and then I do the other when I'm off video I could just pick the wrong one up that's better that's, because it's on decoupage it's gonna need something just to press it down just to make sure it sticks so we'll just make sure we get that down I don't want it coming up and getting caught if it's in a pocket or whatever so let's just give it a bit more my fingers are sticking together. So I'm going to come back and do another video more or less straight away. I'm going to check on my husband, make him a drink and come back with the next video. I'm doing another couple of these off, not filming them, but just to show you um, the other sort of tabs that I would do just because, you know, I don't have any fancy right i like i like that with just something on it and then inside there's plenty of room for journaling on and then that side i've just done the little wedding scene on there so that's that one get my lid on my glue goodness me and then this one i just did two different papers on the front the tab here and the rose there i'm coming and the inside i've done for journaling and the back so i really like those thank you for watching um too uh so it's quite time consuming when you're doing um collaging but uh yeah I'm quite pleased with the results. So thank you for now and I'll be back to you shortly. I'm going to do another video more or less straight away. Um, so please look out for that. In the meantime, take care. Keep safe. Bye for now.